welcome to subramani uh recently i heard of a man who uh, at the age of very close to 60 uh, wiped out his complete net worth by doing a bad uh, fno trade right now this man had a house worth about 4 4 and a half crores in uh, a place i know and he had a net worth in excess of 10 crores or maybe 8 9 crores in equities in his name uh, apart from having money in his wife's name and children's name right why would you do a transaction to risk uh, all that you have uh, to earn something that you do not need let me just explain now suppose i have uh, suppose suppose i need uh, 3 la 3 crores for my retired life right uh, and uh, I have say 5 crores. The question is why would I risk 5 crores to make it 10 crores or something like that maybe 7 crores, 8 crores when I do not need that extra money. Why am I chasing something that I do not need? Right. So because this is exactly how you should think as an individual. As a business you want to grow, you want to double, you want to triple, you want to become the world's richest man. All that is fine. But as an individual who is investing, you have to first think, do you need that money? Because uh, I, I look at it as what is the peace of mind that you are getting for it. If it keeps you awake at night, to me the only definition of risk is does it keep you awake at night? Can you sleep peacefully or no? To me standard deviation is not a, a measure of risk simply because let's say I had invested in Baiju's uh, and or I had invested in Paytm at 1200 rupees and uh, then I find that the share price is at 300 rupees or 400 rupees or Baiju's is suddenly saying oh the directors have resigned, the auditors have resigned. So to me in Baiju's I could not see any risk because there was no standard deviation. I didn't know what was the value of my share and suddenly one day the whole thing went off. Now when you are taking risk understand what is risk Under risk is not just standard deviation or fluctuation in price when you do not get the valuation from somewhere on a day to day basis or hour to hour basis or even minute to minute basis like you can get in equities then the risk is hidden somewhere else the risk is in your uh, how much are you putting at risk how much of stress are you taking what is the peace of mind that you want what is the return per unit of uh, peace of mind that you are giving up are you giving up the peace of mind? Are you taking on stress? Does your family know what you're doing? And why are you doing all this, right? So typically it uh, then takes me to the old uh, uh, Ramayan story where Narada goes and meets uh, uh, a decoit called Ratnakar and asks him, uh, ask your family, will they share the sins of your uh, looting, right? Or your uh, decoity business? And they say, no, we will not. So similarly, find out whether you want your family to take all that stress, whether you want to take all that stress to earn a piece of money which you do not need. Maybe your children will also not need. That's another fanciful idea we have that we are going to leave a lot of money for our children. I'm sure my daughter is going to earn much better than me uh, and her portfolio will do much better than mine. So what am, what am I doing? Why am I taking risk? Understand, ask that question again and again and again and see what is the return per unit of stress. Uh, see the return that you are getting per unit of stress and the return for giving up your peace of mind. This is true for fund managers also. If you are running a big fund and you, which is a small cap fund, you need to take big stakes, right? Which is very difficult. So what happens is they do take stakes which are difficult to handle and they might be losing their sleep. Uh, if, if you have taken the risk which is keeping you awake at night, that risk is not worth taking. Something is wrong with your asset allocation. Maybe you put too much money in Baiju's, maybe you put too much money in Paytm. Maybe you should shift to companies which are listed and for all your uh, risk that you want to take, uh, you go to something like a Nasdaq 100 or some innovation fund or things like that and let them do all the thinking. You don't, you are not able to understand, don't do it. You are not able to sleep with that much of debt which is an F and O position, don't do it. There is no compromise on that. If you already have what you need, 
stop running the race is over you needed 3 crores for retirement you have it in your kitty after that what you do should be for fun not for stress because whether you leave your children 2 crores or 20 crores if they don't care simply because they are earning better than you be proud and happy about it don't say i am leaving them 20 crores it may not matter i mean i am sure at some stage of my daughter's life her uh, ctc will be more than the amount that i can leave her right so it does not really uh, matter how much for, for what you are doing but if the risk is not palatable to you don't take it you don't need it thank you